It's no secret that NFTs have seen a massive explosion over the past year or so. Some of the top grossing projects have you know, taken in millions and millions of dollars at their launch. We've seen stories like this of a 12-year-old boy who made $400,000 coding his own NFT project on his summer holiday. So the opportunity is huge. So what do these successful projects have in common? Well, in this video, I'm actually gonna break that down and reverse engineer it, talk about what makes these projects work and what you would need to actually create one of these, you know, step by step. I'm gonna talk about that as a blockchain developer who works with technology on a daily basis. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. All right, so let's get into this. So like I was saying, you know, NFTs have seen a massive explosion over the last year. We're seeing lots of major players, you know, get into the space. GameStop's releasing their own NFT project. You know, Twitter has come on with their uh, feature to actually create NFT verification for profile pictures on their platform. It's heating up like crazy. We've seen some NFTs like CryptoPunks, Board Ape Yacht Club really rise to prominence and sell for, you know, millions of dollars. So what do these really successful NFT projects have in common? Well, a lot of them follow the format of a generative NFT, okay, where basically you have members of an entire collection that are basically the same type of thing like you see in the Board Ape Yacht Club. You have these uh, you know, apes that have these kind of you know, board expressions. But then there's all this variance uh, between the individual NFTs themselves. Like they each have a slightly different expression. The apes have a different skin. They have different backgrounds, you know, outfits, accessories, etc., etc. This is the same format as, you know, CryptoPunks and lots of other leading NFT projects. And a lot of these projects also do something where they essentially create a finite collection and then you mint these NFTs at a big event, okay? You should go to some like website like this. That's just some random project that I literally just pulled up. Um, or you can just like go click a button to mint it. Whenever it drops live, they do an NFT drop. And so they sort of hype this thing up and you have all these people kind of flooding in to try to claim the NFTs at one at a time. And you don't necessarily know what NFT you're getting whenever you do the mint. You know, you just click a button and it randomly generates, uh, you know, an NFT out of this collection. And this is the type of thing that builds up all the FOMO for these projects. And it's one of the major reasons that, you know, we see everybody flocking this space trying to get on these NFT drops all at one time. All right, so how would you actually create something like this yourself to, you know, jump on this big opportunity. Well, I'm going to go through each of the pieces that you need in this video today, but I'm actually going to go through the process of creating a generative NFT like this from scratch inside the NFT masterclass on Thursday, November 4th. And I'm going to show you how to do the same thing. We'll learn by doing, I'll show you how to create the artworks, create the smart contracts, create the website, everything. Just sign up with the link down below to hold your spot today. All right, let's get a breakdown of everything that you need if you're going to do this though. So first and foremost, you definitely need the artwork in order to do a generative NFT drop. So the first thing that you want to do is basically come up with a concept, whatever it is that you want to create. Okay, you could just play around with some ideas. The whole idea is that you want the collection to have some sort of theme. Of course, you have the Board Ape Yacht Club. You know, the theme here is apes with nothing to do. We've seen crypto punks, you know, crypto kitties. So you definitely want to start with some sort of theme that resonates with people in some way. And then you want to think about, you know, what are the different attributes that you want to, you know, be dynamic on this? All right, you can think of some pretty easy ones like the background, skin color, fur color, whatever it is of each, you know, particular member of the NFT. Clothing's a pretty easy variable expressions and easy variable other accessories these are just some ideas to get the wheels turning inside your head about you know what aspect of the nft itself that you want to be dynamic or to change when we do this generative drop now once you've got that done you have to actually create the artwork yourself so if you are an artist yourself um you have a huge advantage here because you know the coding required to do this is not that sophisticated on the grand scheme of things because a lot of the nft coding is kind of a solved problem as long as you can take a template and customize it then you can really do your own nft drop okay uh, so if you're already an artist you have a massive advantage in this regard you can just create your own digital artwork and then create the layers uh, that do each of these attributes and then generate each of those files one by one i'm exactly sure to do that inside that master class so if you're not an artist there's a couple options for you um, i mean one is you you still can create some sort of unique artwork just with like templates yourself now it's probably not going to be as unique as somebody who's a really good artist that can create something from scratch and there's lots of different you know pixel art templates on the internet you could just come up with some idea on how you could you know combine these in a uh, creative way and kind of hand roll your own nft uh, with maybe some found objects on the internet. You just want to make sure you're not violating any license agreements when you do this. So another option is actually just to collaborate with another NFT artist, okay? 
Um, you could use a website like Upwork.com to find an artist. You know, there's lots of people on here who actually participated in these generative NFT drops before who understand the format. You'll just have to send the requirements of them, what you're looking for, and you can just collaborate with them. Sometimes these artists will even take a percentage of the drop in exchange for, um, you know, just doing the work in the first place. So if you're lucky, you might be able to circumvent the cost of hiring this person up front. So once you have the artworks created, you have to actually put them somewhere. So now this is something that you have to understand is pretty critical. So the images for your uh, NFTs don't actually live on a blockchain anywhere. I realize that the, the ownership over the NFT, that's all tracked on the blockchain. We're going to talk about that here in a minute. But the actual picture, video, whatever, whatever media is associated with the NFT, it actually lives somewhere else. Okay. So there's a couple different ways to accomplish this, but the most popular way is to actually use a decentralized file storage system like IPFS. Okay. This kind of works like a blockchain. It's not really a blockchain. It's just a distributed file storage. Okay. So there's a couple different ways to access IPFS. You can run your own IPFS node, manually upload the images that way if you really wanted to. A much easier thing for a vast majority of people is just to use a service that connects to IPFS where you could just bulk upload your images uh, and then get back that reference to the IPFS hash for each image that you can include into your uh, smart contract for your NFTs. We'll talk about that here in a minute. So uh, one really popular service is Fleek. Okay, you can actually use this to also host your website, which we'll also talk about here in a minute. But this will be a way where you can bulk upload your artwork for your NFTs and then uh, get the location of each of these for your smart contract. All right, so let's talk about the smart contract next because this is next. This is the next thing that you need once you have the images, okay? So the smart contract is actually going to govern several things, just who owns your NFT, how much it controls the NFT drop, okay? And... Um, it's also going to be responsible for you, you know, receiving ETH whenever you uh, do the NFT drop. OK, uh, it also keeps track of the images because so it points to the images uh, just like this on IPFS. So let's talk about each one of these step by step. So the smart contract is going to be written in Solidity. Uh, you can deploy this to multiple different environments. Uh, the most popular one for the highest value NFT is definitely going to be on top of the Ethereum mainnet. Uh, but for smaller projects that, you know, don't necessarily want to do that, you can always deploy on top of Polygon. It's an EVM compatible chain, so you can take the Solidity code and not really change it. And you could just put it on Polygon. You could also put it on Ethereum. There's other EVM compatible chains that are doing NFTs as well. Those are probably the two most popular ones because those are both supported by OpenSea, all right, where the NFT marketplace is. So you create this contract with Solidity. It'll be responsible for the minting, like I was saying. The user will come to it. They'll, you know, do the mint function. That will just give them a random NFT out of the collection until all the NFTs are sold out. And then whenever they give do that mint, if if you charge ETH for the actual mint as well, uh, that ETH will go to you. And then, you know, the images for those will be uh, stored out of IPFS. All right, so the next thing that you need is definitely a website to do the minting itself, okay? Like I said, this is a random project that I pulled off uh, I actually just went to a NFT drop calendar. I'll talk about that here in a minute. Just like click like with the t the first one that came up on the list. Uh, you can use that for marketing later if you want to. But anyways, this this website basically does what it needs to do. Uh, you know, it talks about the NFT collection. It says they're going to have a, a mint on this specific day. And then it has a website where you can just like click a button and do the mint to the smart contract. And it keeps progress of how many NFTs have been dropped. You know, it tells you how many uh, NFTs are going to happen. So 10,000 randomly generated uh, dorky ducks. Okay. So that's what you want to do. And so this website can be pretty simple. Basically, all you need is like a React JS website or something like that that talks directly to a smart contract. You don't need a bunch of fancy like microservices or extra infrastructure to pull this off. It's just two apps, a front end app that, that talks to the blockchain and then the smart contract on the blockchain itself. Okay. You can do that with the exact coding skills that I teach you on this channel. And at the end of the day, you don't have to be an advanced coder to do this. You can just take a template uh, and customize it because it's basically a solved problem. And then you can host that website on the same hosting service like Fleek that also talks to IPFS. You just push it live to the web, point it to your smart contracts, and you're good to go. So as far as your, you know... Uh, collection appearing on a secondary market like OpenSea, for example, it should get automatically indexed, okay? So if you have your NFT, uh, it's getting picked up. You can see them eventually in your wallet here. Sometimes if you want to do a reveal, you'll see the reveal image and then you can, you know, basically hit the reveal in the smart contract to show the NFTs once they've been minted. But the nice part is the OpenSea part is pretty easy. And then they can be automatically, you know, bought and sold in the secondary market here. Uh, that's another way that you can make money with your own NFTs is you can basically just buy them from yourself uh initially at the mint and then you own a percentage of the collection 
Um, and then, you know, hopefully that'll increase in value over time. And that's the second way that you can also make money other than just people buying them at the drop. So the last thing we're talking about is marketing, because that'll be the, the, the last step. So there's lots of ways you can do this. If you know, if you don't have any kind of online reach already, the easiest way to do it is basically uh, with a really grassroots type of, you know, movement where you're, you're starting a discord server, you're reaching out to people on other discord servers, you're getting inside. That's a really common way that these NFT drops get, you know, uh, talked about. You get people inside of there. You create a community because ultimately, at the end of the day, that's the NFTs are about community in the first place. That's really what the product ultimately is. So you see that community, you get everybody to know about it. They bring more people into it. I mean, you can also do stuff like get on some of these NFT drop websites. Okay. Uh, you can collaborate with other influencers who are doing NFT projects, let them know about it. And that's the way that you can get the word out about your project. All right, so that's an overview of what you need in order to pull off one of these, you know, NFT projects. These are the exact elements that the really successful projects are, are incorporating. So I'm going to go through this process step by step, start to finish from creating the artworks, the smart contracts, the website, everything inside the NFT masterclass on Thursday, November 4th. I'm going to show you to do the exact same thing. So sign up to the link down below to hold your spot today. All right, that's all I got for today. As always, you know, smash that like button down below. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. That really helps the videos out so the more people can learn about blockchain. And if you can't wait to that masterclass, you want to get your hands dirty, how can you get started today? Well, you can go to my YouTube homepage. You can find my free courses there. They're like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. And if you like those and you want to the next step, or hey, Maybe you want to take a massive shortcut entirely. I can show you become a blockchain master step by step from start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You don't have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.